Welcome to an MVP online class. Today we will learn PHP chapter 5. If else and if else if else statement. The here in the chapters we perform different example in PHP of if else and if else if statement. Today we will learn conditional statement. Conditional statement are used to perform the different action based on a different condition. Very often when you write the code and you want to perform the different action for a different decision, you can use the conditional statement in a code to do this. Basically there are list of conditional statement we are use. The first is the if statement. Use this statement to execute some code only if a specific condition is true. Next conditional is the if all statement. Use this statement to execute some code if a condition is true and under code if condition is false. And the third is the if else if statement. Use this statement to select one of the several block of code to be executed. And last is the Swiss statement. Use this statement to select one of many block of code to be executed. First of all we understand the if all statement. Use the if else statement to execute some code if a condition is true and under code if a condition is false. The syntax of the if else statement see on the screen. Now we perform the example one practical in our file. Here in this example we define one variable d and set the value today's date with date function. Then we use the if statement and here we set the condition dollar $d is equal to Friday means today's day is a Friday. The condition is true then following code is executed. Have a nice weekend. Sentence sentence display in our browser if the condition is true. Otherwise, suppose the condition is false, then all statement to be executed. Have a nice day. Here we define the variable d and d has a contain today's day and for that we use a date function. Finally save the file and run the file in our browser and see the output. Here the condition is false. So we display have a nice day sentence because the today's day is a Sunday. Condition is false. Now we change the dollar d value. Now we change the conditional statement dollar d is equal to Sunday. Then save the file and run the file in our browser and check the output. The condition is true. So finally display execute the line. Have a nice weekend. Here conditional operator double equal to is used for a comparison. Next we learn else if statement. Use the if else if statement to select one of the several block of code to be executed. Here the syntax see in the screen. Here we compare the list of conditions. Suppose first condition is true then this block of code is executed. If the second condition is true then this code is executed and if any of this condition is not true then finally default condition is executed. Here we perform one practical. In this example we output have a nice weekend if the current day is Friday and have a nice Sunday if the current day is Sunday. Otherwise it will output have a nice day. For that we de define one variable d. 
and we set the value of a current day. For that we use the date function. Now we compare one condition. Now we set one condition. We use the if keyword and inside the condition dollar d is equal to Sunday. That means dollar d value is equal to Sunday. Then execute the following code. Have a nice day. Now set the second condition else if if the dollar d is equal to Friday then following condition is executed. Have a nice weekend. And last above any of the condition is not true. Then finally this statement, this block will execute. not found. Finally save the file and run the file in our browser and check the output. Output is have a nice day. Here The first condition is true.